Well, they're all prostitutes. I mean, uh, they, I don't want to. Yeah, let me know. I mean, they're sex. Much, are we workers. on live now? Oh, no. Almost. Okay. They're okay. sex workers. Yes. Which they, I mean, yeah, come on. For so, prostitutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think they probably nineteenth century language, right? I didn't say ladies of the street. <laughs> That's eighteenth century. Yeah, exactly. Street walkers, street walkers, or as I call them, Democrats. Oh Ooh. no, you didn't. Yeah, I went yes, there. Yes, he did. I sure went did. there. He sure did. All right, stand by, everybody. And we're holding. We're holding. Stand by. Oh my God, you have a friend. He looked that. Do you know who Mike Cernovich is? No. He's like kind of one of these troll guys, but you have a friend that looks a lot He's like uh, and, you know, Mike Cernovich. The Birdman. Uh, okay, everybody. Okay, we are live. We are live, everybody. We are. We're, the video is pumping, too, in oh case you're gosh. watching this. Um, for those of you who have been having some streaming issues, um, we saved up some money and we got a 50 foot <laughs> Ethernet cable. Yeah. Surprisingly inexpensive. I didn't, how much do you think it was going to be? I thought, you know what? The thing is, I think one time I bought a long HDMI cable oh, and it more. was expensive. Yeah. So I went there thinking it was going to be a lot. 19 bucks. I yeah. Think. Ethernet cables are just a telephone cable that went to college. Basically. It's just a thicker, right. fatter. With a, with an associate's degree. Yeah, exactly. In Not even an undergrad. Not even. No, a bachelor's. Not even right. Exactly. I, I'm a paralegal assistant. Everybody, welcome to the show. It's a Brian McCarthy interview show. We are sitting here, of course, in the Hollywood Hills. In the Hollywood Hills, in the beautiful. By the way, I talked to my buddy Greg a couple days ago. It was raining in California. And right? uh, Hollywood wow. Howard. Hello, Howard. Hey. It was raining back home? Well, yes, back home. I like how you played into your character. I like that. Like it was raining yeah. back at the Brown Derby. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it never rains in California. Not, so. not a no. When it rains, it's actually very dangerous because they have mudslides. Yeah. And the rain, the ground is so dry that the rain doesn't absorb it in the ground. It kind of it settles above it. Yeah. No, we've been having, you know, it's a tricky, tricky time for weather. I don't think people are supposed to live in California because it's either like they don't have any water mm. or it's very, very, yeah. when it rains, it's too much and they get mudslides or it doesn't rain ever and it's dry and it's just... Right? I'm not sure, if I may, that Homo Please. sapiens was meant to live anywhere outside of East Africa. Whoa. You know, once we started to when wander say, about, I mean, we've made such a... Okay, so I'm hold not on. sure. Why, when you say East Africa, you're talking about, like, hunter-gatherers in, like, yeah, Africa modern proper? modern-day Kenya, Tanzania, where we came from. By Kenya. Um, Kenya. By, speak, Kenya. Yeah, speak for yourself. Kiev? Speak Kiev? for yourself. Say Kiev, yes. I suppose. Uh -huh. Victoria Falls. Mm. Oh, okay. they're Eastern, beautiful. Eastern or is it West, Westerns with like Ethiopia? And that, no, that side, Western right? is like the Eastern. Congo. No, no, no. Which, uh, this is East, 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 Middle and North East Africa. Yes. What's on the, well, what's on the West, West Coast? Side. Yeah, what's on the West Coast? No. Liberia, the Cote d'Ivoire. On uh, parle français. Là. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. And also English, Ghana, Nigeria. Right. Togo. Right. I get my uh, size of Africa. I know. Well, mixed it's up. a big continent with 56 or 60 countries in it. It's amazing. Mm. I went to a Catholic school that was, we had a, we had a, it was such a shitty old school that we had a globe in one of the classrooms. Oh, I love those. And the globe was so old that Africa was like three. How old was it? Oh boy. Sorry, I thought it, had, I was supposed to, no, I was it was so right. old that yeah, it was so old that um uh the uh shit. Yeah. Um, oh no, don't come on. Okay. Don't lose it. it. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, I can do it. I can do it. It was uh the ma the globe of Africa was so old it was flat. That's good. Not bad, guys. That's shit, better right? than what I They're thought not, you were going to say bad, which was bad. it had German empire, you know, well, French that's what empire, that was English the initial empire. thing. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I had it and the fucking thing was all of Northern Africa was like German, Northwest Africa, French Congo. Nice. And then the South just said darkies, which I thought mm -hmm. was inappropriate. Mm -hmm. So I, um, but well, yeah. there were some extreme globe making companies that, that they, they were just, yeah, yeah. They, right. That was, they would insert themselves. I like those old maps from like the 15th century when they would just be like, they just got lazy. They're like, I don't know. It, it, just put a dragon somewhere. Up there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Put a, um, put a mermaid with a, with a hatchet. <laughs> you know, well, like, look, they, yeah. we didn't. That's going to be new. Who you knew? guys, that's going to be Hawaii in like 300 years. Well, until then, it's a it's an octopus with a sword. OK, and that's what's there. So not everybody's Nostradamus. You can't prove see me wrong. You can't see a thousand years ahead. It's very hard. Prove to me wrong, cartographers. But um, my question yeah. is, yeah. that is where all of civilization uh, sprung from right the the headwaters of the nile if you will mm -hmm. um yeah but what about mesopotamia 
What about also the, the Euphrates Triangle? Uh, yeah, very scary. The Euphrates. Um, what do you mean? What's, what's, what's scary about Euphrates it? cats and everything like that? I'm oh, remember him? No, I'm not Euphrates nothing. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> he no. played trombone with Louis Armstrong. Hey, Lou Ray, I got trees oh, and black red roses too. <laughs> um, I've been to his house. Are you serious? In well, Queens, the Louis, the Louis Armstrong. In Queens, it's, it's his house. It's, it's very cool, door. actually. Oh, it's it's door. Door. I'm guessing Jamaica. Uh, no, uh, Corona. Corona. Yeah, you wouldn't think. Did you get a lemon ice too. Make a whole day of it. Well, the lemon ice king. Yeah, I do love. I do love the lemon ice king and the uh, Parkside. Uh, Have uh, either uh, one of you Italian. guys? ever done the 23 and me yeah you I did have. no yeah. you know what that is and i got yeah. it from my girlfriend for i have for, to do that and then i did got wet side of africa done? she was from uh, mixed up that's just why now. you get exactly she's, yeah she's from I the meant, other side i meant the uh yeah it's uh, mixed up my east and my west but yeah i did you you got it right i or did no? it yes very yeah much. what are you, you irish or something yeah right how well, irish you know what's funny about mine is that uh i have no african at all i'm like completely yeah, caveman no, well no but a lot of people like my wife for example really she's like two percent african like you oh, okay would, yeah but as i'm sort of saying at the beginning everybody came out uh, uh, not according to that. my spittle well, where'd you come I, from it's all northern european which i'm not there's well there's about yeah, five percent mm. how'd they get there you know but they dropped that yeah there wasn't but there's they didn't intermix at along a certain the way point well there's like cave people right cave men yeah. yeah. and women some broads too um yeah, and then there are but anybody. don't they just come from i don't i'm very confused no. there's homo sapien and then there's homo erectus and then there's uh, um, a family show and then there's the unmarried un uncles uh-huh <laughs> homo <laughs> confirmed uh, confirmed bacheloritis <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 but um Hessler, yeah. yeah here go on 23 and me on my phone would you please you got the app oh yeah baby i sure do yeah we can pull up our, our your results and yeah. we can compare no, let's analyze your results Pick it. i'll show you exactly what i mean it's weird g g g g because also g g my grandmother's last name is balducci but oh, i'm like right. but i'm not i'm like two percent italian it's weird right which i'm not i'm not well but you know we say in rome and north of rome Yes. Africa begins south of Rome. So, well, I don't yeah. tell that to the Napoli. I, I know, right. but that's yeah. where you may have African stuff that you don't know. They about. spit on us, ah, Sicilian, right. yeah, Torino. They think of so much. It's not that very far away. No, it really not is far it. at all. You're an eggplant. You're a cantaloupe. Let's check out Brian's ancestry report. See, you'll see it. Ooh, got an update. That's Ooh, a... I have an update. I keep oh, finding. Oh wow, yeah, yours is vi yours is all over uh, Europe. Yes. Mine is kind of very centralized. Wait. Go ahead. And it uh and I keep finding So yeah, so you're 67.7 British Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, it's all nor northwestern European. Oh, you got a little French, German? Yeah, but it's like it's like it's like for it's 70% Irish English. Yeah, of course, and then of course. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. like twenty five percent, like 25, Scandinavian French or something. Uh, you, uh, All right. Fr French German twenty four. Right. Scandinavian point five. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Uh, broadly northwestern European four point yeah. seven. So that's another you're, group. You're a oh, two point one Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Point that's three the Ashkenazi. Point three ah. Ashkenazi. Yeah. Welcome you, to the Thank tribe. you very much. You oh would, my I would gosh. need. A, I would need I'm another gonna... eight thousand of us to have a minion. Can right. we, yeah. Can we do the bris on the next show? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bring she your own. Can. uh yeah, bring a rusty uh, sure knife. Can get that fucking you're leathery. Three percent. That means you're in. No, I'm point three percent. That's okay. I don't, can. I'll bring you to shore. Is that enough? You don't can, get it. That's enough. Don't we need. It. We need members. You're doing fine. <laughs> no, we Nurse need me. members. Although I tell you, these Jewish you guys in. start keep marrying uh, um, Asian women. That's like the big thing. Jewish guys love to marry. Uh, well, that's yeah. how we're, we're trying the... to get to the supermen. Oh yeah, right. Super, you know uh, what I mean? Supermen. Supermen. Oh yes, we're trying to get super. How long have you been on here? Like um, when did you do your couple test? years ago? Five, okay, six, seven it'll years get ago. even more specific because I've been on for like eight, nine years, something, and it gets more and more specific. It's right. great. It's amazing. Yeah. And you have a lifetime membership and it updates. Yeah, it just keeps no, they serious. just they, they and the more because the more samples that they get, um and, and they, they plug it back into yeah, you. Yeah, know, it, wow. it affects yours. So mine has changed quite a bit. Right. I was things and then now I'm not things. And and if you agree to wear the 23 me aluminum foil hat. <laughs> Yeah, and it really, yeah. it that really boosts it. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the? There is some sort of a uh, um, feeling of um, like a controversy with this, where they think it's like Way people go, "You're putting yourself." People in this... think it's invasive because of 
whatever. But, but I mean, they they've actually they've been able to ID a lot of criminals because right. of because if they're not in the system, if they're like first time offenders or whatever, or they can go to like your sibling and get your mm -hmm. uh, you know most of yeah. your DNA. And a so. lot of people are finding out that like their dad is not really their dad. That yeah. kind of thing. That, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, there's a lot of stuff like I that. should be so lucky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I'd be be like, like, Yay. <laughs> Yay! Just off all the hook. Ch all cherry. Yeah, off the hook. and most uh, most of us Jews um, are uh, when they like are it. broadly <laughs> Ashkenazi. They don't often get out of the, you know, maybe they don't often get out of the shuttle. I feel like Howard's got some Sephardic in him. Well, right. Oh, he tans beautifully. Tans yeah, beautifully, he's got to be Sephardic. All, all, as far, well, I haven't done twenty three, so I don't know. No, as you're far what, as I know from family history, all Ashkenaz. But you know, no, you had, know. again, you, you didn't get north. You had to go know. through the south. Yep. So we, I found out my girlfriend was Irish. Oh. she's more Irish than I am. No way. Yeah. Well, because I thought I was more Irish because I have a my grandfather looks like a leprechaun. Right. And uh, really, with the ears and everything. Yeah. And the pot the of little, gold. The little, the little nose, nose. The bald. No nose, kidding. The, really? Yeah. He looks like the like the the Notre Dame Notre Dame guy. Yeah, and uh, so and and my mom's side is very like proud of the Irish heritage, and so I thought I was, but then I found out my grandmother on that side is also German, and and French, yeah, and then on my so father's side German. So I'm like, I'm a fucking crowd. Well, yeah, well, because well, you through and through, yeah, you you through and you, through. You going from the northern mm -hmm. Europe are very. I'm mixed. super going. There's a lot of mix, and he's super from Minnesota. Goy. And you're Jewish. Yeah. I'm a yes. I hope everybody mm -hmm. appreciates. By the way, no one ever is thrilled to hear that they're I don't think a little Jewish. Point three is not. That's you're in. Am I really? I'm yeah, I'm bringing you. I'm I want bring the benefit rabbi. thing. Then why is every Jewish girl I've ever dated said, I can't, you're not Jewish Because enough. you didn't know. You, you didn't have the paperwork. You didn't oh, have the paperwork. You show the you paperwork. Have, you can oh, act yeah. Jewish. Here, yeah. do your Jackie Mason. There you go for nothing. I get the 23 <laughs> me. I hit a group on discount. I go, <laughs> I Tell me you're not two. Jewish. Come on, folks. Right. Come, come Tell on. me it's not. That's a Purim. I dress like Esther. We go over, have a little hamantashen, apricot, rugula. Why not? Um, you're yeah. in. Yeah, you're Jew. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, I have always loved you. Well, your girlfriend's not Jewish, right? Is Jewish. She is. Oh yeah, Golden. Oh. I don't know. Well, I don't know her last name. What's her, what's her first name? Retriever. Whoa. Hey. Oh, what are you doing over here? Come to your house. You say things like <laughs> this. You talk like this to me. No, but I would. But have you have you ever dated? Have you ever experienced anti-Semitism in your life? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Well, N not right in the face. And I don't want to be oversensitive because I'm not not right in the face. But I feel like think... I'm an asshole, too. So it's hard to tell that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. No, no but... but I think that one, one girlfriend's grandma, I did. I don't know uh -oh. as far a fact, but it was a. they were just to keep it. You know, I don't want to name any names. No, no. They were they were Southern Ohio, you know, Catholic. And we were getting a little to maybe, you know, oh, tie the knot and stuff. Oh, she didn't like it. She didn't like it. Oh, but that's okay. I don't care. How, and this must have been a long time ago. Too. This was a long time ago. It's 40 long years ago. Time ago. Because up until 1966, the, uh, the, the, the Catholic doctrine was that the Jews killed Jesus. It was only 1966 when they stopped doing the Catholic Mass and they, they reformed. The uh, Vatican II. Thanks. Very good. You're welcome. Yep. Mm, I know stuff you. about the glam. I know yes. a lot of stuff right, about right, the glam. Right, 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 right. We uh, are our dicks at turtlenecks, apparently. I'm, I'm, you're <laughs> circumcised, do. right? Oh, yeah. yeah Double. Little, little too much. Double. Yeah. You went back went, around. I said, said, take a little, take a little yeah. more up the top. Once more around the park, folks. Get, they give me a high fade. Yep. I oh. think that the bris, bris guy on Seinfeld was one of the f absolutely funniest mm, moments the in moil? the history of the moil on Seinfeld. Sure. Was the one of the funniest moments in civilized what, history. What, I don't understand. Oh, what? come on. You've seen that. I don't watch Seinfeld. I, I, I think we feel like have this conversation. He doesn't like He doesn't care for it. I, hate, I listen. We've had I this love before. that. Pe yes, I love that. Tell him how funny the. I, I know it's a moil. He's had, a, oh, he's had every opportunity, hysterical. I think, to appreciate Santa. Oh, he was he so funny. It. I'm waiting until it's on reruns at, in 45 <laughs> times. <laughs> yes. I wait until everybody. Super secret. What are you anti Semitic? You're a Jew. You're a self hating Jew. Jew. That's how we do it. No mm -hmm. one hates a Jew more sure. than a Jerry. Jew, right? No one. Jerry. Have you ever seen Annie Hall? Hello. Of course I've seen. Remember the great scene when when Woody Allen is at the table with with Annie Hall's parents. And the grandmother looks over the, uh, at him. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. And he, he's got the, yeah, the, the, the payas and, and the, the fill in and, and everything. everything. Right, yeah. right. Oh, it's so funny. I love it's the, beautiful. The mother goes, uh, Annie tells us you're in therapy. And he goes, yeah, it's going really well. Uh, <laughs> apparently, as soon I won't have to wear the lobster bib. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest oh, good movie. Mind. We love him. Movie. Great movie. Is he canceled for us? I no, mean, no I, not way. really. I think he was, he was his grandfather then, I think. Yeah. He's like, so I fuck children, big deal. But he committed, but he committed to her. He doubled down. Right.
He's like, I, real daughter, listen, right? everybody, I married my stepdaughter. Okay. Big fucking deal. How old was his? Not that so I'm like, a, I'm not a Woody Allen apologist, but how old was his stepdaughter? I mean, like, well, as long as she was over the age of consent, right? I don't think care. of well, think of the, we're in the Hollywood, we're in the Hollywood Hills yeah. right now. Think yeah. of how often that yeah. happens. Like, excluding fucking, me, what are we, what are we canceling? James Woods, excluding now? me, Wood, 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 Wood. What James Woods. Wood? He's on no, a Family he just likes Guy. Young ladies. Are we got? Yeah. Yep, no, no, but that's what Seth he can like young ladies. Yeah, of course. As okay. long as they're of age. Yeah, I problem. think with Woody Allen, the issue was that he ultimately did marry his stepdaughter, or maybe are they even married to each other? I don't know now. Maybe this whole thing's a lot sweeter Soon than I, Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. But I, there is, I remember Mia Farrow found like pictures he took of her. The whole thing is Where very. Um, they're covered in jizz in my sock drawer. Well, uh, we haven't seen them. No, but they're. It's a thing. They're. He. Mm. They. They. He acknowledged. He's like the poor thing. The thing about Woody Allen that fucked him over is he was like, yeah, sure, I took pictures of her. So what? She's mm. my stepdaughter. What am I supposed to do? I have a camera. Click, click. Say smile. He's a, he's a cinematographer. Yeah, exactly. Although I mean, uh, uh, Ted, Ted oh, Nugent, uh -oh. um, who he, I don't think he's canceled. Uh, he he adopted, oh boy. like he couldn't marry a lady, and he adopted her, and what? they were affectionate towards you. So I mean, like, come on, man. Well, he and he wore a, a meat kilt. A meat kilt? Yeah, I think he wore like, like a, he wore made a of kilt meat. Made of yeah, meat? I think he wore like a wow. Meat that's meat. cool. Maybe thinking of Lady Gaga. He wore a wow. lo loincloth. Yeah, I know that I he like would meat kilt. I don't know. Yeah, I've made, I've made, I've made meat kilt. I may have. Uh, you better like it. Embellish a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You like he wore a lamb chop. Uh, go. Uh, a, a gonad. <gasps> yeah. Hugger. What meat was it? Probably. What kind of meat would hang well? Uh, he did something with meat <laughs> in. Uh, well, Lady Gaga wore a whole meat dress. Yes. Right. Yeah. Probably a skirt steak. Probably. Oh, oh, oh now funny. I'm starving. That's funny. Right? Ooh, that's funny. A Romanian skirt. I've got a season that's funny. for you. Oh, oh that skirt. I get it now. Get it. Oh, oh he's cool. moving fast. Oh, and, but it's actually, yeah, it's a joke, but also not, because I think that would be probably the best So wait one, a minute. Right? Ted Nugent was like, he married, he saw a girl. She was like yeah. 16, mm. 17, whatever. And he's like, I can't fuck her. I'll go to jail. I know what I'll do. I'll adopt her. Kind well, of? I think it was like she was maybe from another place too. It was like All a right. citizenship thing, but it was oh, just this is, a shortcut. Huh. This is sounding was, better and better. All yeah. Right. He adopted uh, a, a a Ukrainian runaway, and then mm -hmm. he married her. So what? So what? Love is love. Exactly. Thank you. Um, I could be just conflating like a. I know a right lot now of stuff. Totally, yeah. Do you think Ted Nugent right now has a nosebleed somewhere and is like? Because I know he's a big mm -hmm. hunter. He likes to hunt with bows. Mm -hmm. Oh, does he? You ever shot a gun? Yes. In anger? No. <laughs> no. Where did you shoot a gun? Up the country. Like uh, like a like a try like skeet shooting that kind of thing. Pull. Yeah, yeah with my dad and his cousins and stuff. Really, no kidding. Go out. Yeah, go up the Catskills and uh, yeah, shoot. You ever hunt? No, I will not do that. You will not hunt. Nope. What about? Would you ever hunt the most dangerous game of all, man? Um, not so far. No, I always think it's funny when they say no. We've that. hunted cans. That's that was our expertise. So it doesn't get twenty two. No big deal. It was twenty two. Okay. Um, Nobody was hurt. No, except the cans. Dinty Moore will never be the it's same. A, it's, <laughs> it's a delicate cosmological question if the inanimate object is, I just, you know, I think uh, aluminum pressure. Can handle it. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you ever fired a gun? Not really. I don't think I have. Not a real one. But you're, like a, boy, a, you're, gun. you're a young yeah, farmer not, boy not, from Minnesota. Yeah, we're not right? big hunters, though. Not in your I probably family. have maybe like a 22 pistol. Like, I, I fired a pistol. I think, Man, or, that was the one that went off uh, I had a friend by accident. Was, yeah. Friend that was in a gun. Trying to get What did you know? A I was on the police force. A, a, a madam of in a 19th house? century brothel. Uh, she kept it in her bustier. But it was like a small handgun. I declare. Yeah. A little pearl handle. I had a, I had a BB gun growing did up. Yeah. Well, and there were like a pellet gun. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I would everybody shoot, had I would that. shoot birds. Just kind of shoot. You would. Birds. Yeah. See, I, didn't, I didn't really know. Better. That's bad karma. Yeah. Oh. By the way, t yeah. Ted Nugent did uh, adopt. A, she was seventeen. Oh. She's only seventeen when adopted. Well, in some states, that's but legal marrying from, uh, age. She was from be... Hawaii. Hawaii? Ah, I don't know why you didn't just marry, but I don't, I don't know. It doesn't, that's they don't fair, really... It's not a foreign country unless it was like 19. Well, it right. was no, no, until 59. No, no. yeah, it it's Maybe. off the mainland, but it is. Uh... It's not that long ago. Yeah. How many pineapples did he have to give her Samoan father to get her? How I many... mean, he was, and he was 30 and she was 17. This isn't, this isn't oh, that this bad. Is all but very it's, it's strange. It's very strange, but it's not that. It's a clever maneuver. Yeah, I, it does make it creepier, though. I mean, it's just a weird story when you go to dinner with another couple, and they're like, how'd you guys meet? And yeah. He's like, funny story. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's unusual. Yeah. I'm doing a show. Yeah, I was doing a show in Oahu, 
Saw mm-hmm. this little lady over little there lady. sitting on a can of spam. A luau. Yeah. And I said, Hey, why well, don't you why don't why don't I adopt you and bring you over here when you're old enough to fuck you? And here we are. Mm-hmm. Did we order mozzarella sticks? You know, like I don't really think that is something that uh I don't know. In your mind, yes. like you're 73 and okay. a half. 73 and a half. Okay. Ooh. How y- October 19th is my half wow. birthday, by the way. You do a half Thank birthday? Because that's some astrology thing. No, just mm-hmm. a thing. Okay. Just a date. You know, gotcha. you note that. Oh, it's a Howard. Another day. half a year has gone by. Yes, Do, sir. How young would you how date old? before they, before you think it would raise eyebrows? Like how long, how young oh, would you age comfortably now? get? Yeah. 18? <laughs> <laughs> they say half your age plus seven. So that would oh, be yeah. All right, so 30, that. 43 or something, 44? Yeah, probably. Anything, anything, well, certainly anything more than 40 would be no yeah. eyebrows. No, I don't think no, be, even 35, maybe. No, wow. Eyebrows. Oh, what, would that be eyebrows? I, I wouldn't. Well, that sounds, shit. I'm, I'm just, yeah, in that range. In the eyebrows and a high five. Yeah. I'd be like, what's up, bitch? Maybe, uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a hubba hubba. <laughs> yeah. I knew this somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh, that sounds that's I knew, hot. I knew this beautiful girl that my friend John knew. She was his uh, um, nanny, gorgeous girl. I mean, really, very, very pretty. And she was having an affair. With her seventy-seven-year-old yeah. professor, okay, mm. like he was married. She was like, she That's was like, okay. she was like sneaking around with him. I'm like, what did you have dinner with him at four o'clock? Like, <laughs> right. the only yes. rule is after the grades are in. Sure. Oh yeah, that yeah, is the because rule. otherwise you have a conflict of interest. That's really well. I'm sure any guy that's going to date. No, no, no. Don't, a woman, don't assume uh, anything. Uh, a quarter his age is not going to have a problem with. The grades, yeah. the yeah, after the grades get thing. muddled with the, no. Yeah. I was an after the grades man. I did not sure because you fuck some of your students, right? Like not well, not before the grades were in. But, okay, but what yeah. about heavy petting? No, nope. <laughs> you wouldn't blow your load until you'd be like, here's an A and here's a C. <laughs> could you always? <laughs> could you always tell when you of like course. if well, a lady can uh, fancied tell. you? No, you could. Sure, you can. Can you always tell? Of course, you can. Uh, always tell. I can't always tell. Uh, yeah, I've tell. been told after the fact, years after the really? fact. Really? Yeah. Are you a little slow on that? No, I regard? think I just didn't have maybe the, I just didn't think of myself well, that highly. Maybe. And usually by the time I pull the duct tape off their mouth, they're sure. usually like, ow, right. ow, it, it hurts. <laughs> right. But mm-hmm. do you like me now? I'm going to put this We're back on. on. chloroform again. <laughs> yeah. So, honey, go ahead. Oh, I'm going to staple you to the wall tonight. Sure. Right. Um. So, wait a minute. Where did you teach school again? A bunch of places. Um, The Statue of Limitations has well expired, so you're okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Institute of Politics at Kennedy School, uh, Tufts at Harvard. Oh, oh, wow. and in Europe. Uh, Back in those days, they had women at Harvard. They just I were admitted. Wow, must be some, really? Must be some real fucking Boston. They hit the ground still. running. Yeah. Oh, you have the gals from Sarah oh, yeah. Lawrence come over. Yeah. Maybe. This is. Uh, look at him. He's a really hot Loaded number. Loaded for bear. Yeah. Press. Yeah. Cut. Right. Oh, well, your buddy does. You making so. fun of JFK? Yeah. Well, I'm just doing like my standard Boston. Oh, okay. All uh, right. Mm-hmm. Great president, JFK. Why don't you weigh in on that? Uh, well, tragically, uh, you know, didn't quite have enough time maybe to make it to greatness, but he was, yes, he oh, would have been on the way. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Well, I like the fact that uh, he was in military service. Yes. Father is a bootlegger. Today's, well, by the way, happy Veterans Day, everybody. Yep. Today's Veterans Day. Oh, is that today? Yep. Happy Veterans Day. Yes, it's today, right. November yep. 11th, which was originally which holiday? Just to do a little uh, historical arm- context. Armistice Day. That's right. The end of the First World War. Thank you very much. The end what, of the Western Day Armistice. Oh, Armistice. Armistice. Right. Yeah. In the oh. in the boxcar, they signed that in Belgium, and uh, and there you go. And okay. what happened? Uh, what do you mean? What are you doing? Remember? Well, remember what? What, what happened in the next generation? Oh, WW two. Yeah. Uh, where, and where, then of course Hitler. Hitler. Very. So, yeah. Yes. Where they, did he take the surrender of France it, in the same friggin' that's box right car. when the Germans capitulated? I mean, that's to, great theater. That this was. guy had. He knew what he was doing. I don't doing. care what you say, but made, he had, they had a tremendous sense of theatricality. Made the trains run tremendous. on time. And plus two, number two, oh, the yeah. trains ran on time. And I, you know what always blows my mind is like, I don't know if Adam knows this. You and I are, you know, we're not. We're, we're, we're older. We're, we're learned men of letters. Well, I, and, yeah. but, but we're know, older. Did you know Hugo Boss created the uniforms for the Wehrmacht and the SS? So the. the no, but the, if the I did know that. Oh, boy. Yeah. You didn't I think know I, that? I think I knew that because you told me. Okay, fair well, enough. Or maybe had, the history. Somebody channel. had to. After Adam and I fuck, I tell him. Yeah, I tell him so facts about Nazi, Nazi Germany. Nazi facts. Yeah, <laughs> I kiss his for. I kiss his sweaty forehead. Butterfly kisses. Yeah. I go. You know, the Sixth Army invaded Ger- uh, Russia. General Palace. He goes. Oh yeah. I go. I can feel your cock softening against my leg. <laughs> um, 
but no the uh yeah <clears> so <throat> but it's weird to me like but they don't even give a shit so you can i was just in the i was just in the mall over at the columbus circle and there's you still a, there's a hugo boss there you can walk right into hugo oh, boss why we're we gonna cancel them yeah no they're not canceling hugo boss the sins they of the mistake. fathers yeah but I'm saying they didn't even change the name or anything. Like you would think they would like, like to what boss Hugo? Yeah, something, yeah, something like that. I something like that. Hugo Bostein, right? Oh, that would have been. Cool. We make cravats and such. That would have been cool. But I mean, I just think it's funny that like they're so identified with creating the uh, the uniforms for the SS, and now you can just go into the same name of the place and buy like a nice pair it's of still spare all slacks. Black. Yeah, and look. And little um and little right? like skull and crossbones yeah. on the buttons. Mm -hmm. They haven't yeah. changed it all that much, just in kind of subtle ways. Well, fundamentally, they're like, yes, they're like this. Uh, this is repellent to this. Uh, it's come in here and buy some suits and things like this. I don't know what I'm it doing. brings out what, the what blue you in your eyes. Yes, <laughs> the, yeah, the eyes right. everything, everything mm. does. This this jerk this jacket will be the final solution for your wardrobe. <laughs> right. Whoa, yes. a lot Thank of you. funny. Like, you yeah. sound like Nazi a Family title. Guy now. Yeah, you like the Family Guy? It's a great show. I love Family Guy, but they have a, they always sneak in a little bit of anti-Jewish stuff. They do. Do they? I don't yes, think it's do. anti-Jewish. I'm, I'm not super. You know, well, there's probably a lot of Jewish but they writers do. on there. They do. So. They do. I think mm. they make a decision to. Have I think there's a lot of there's a real thing with not acknowledging it, and I think they acknowledge it to the point where you notice it. Meaning it, meaning like Jewish jokes. Does that make sense? Like there's an episode of Family Guy that never is aired because oh. it was deemed way too anti-Semitic. Oh. It's it's the one where um uh, the 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 dad his he wants his son to be a Jew, and mm. he takes him around and he and he kidnaps a Jewish guy. And he puts him in the basement to teach him Jewish things. And it's like, and he has a whole song about, you're a Jew. And it's just like, it's wow. funny. It's very funny, yeah, but it is a choice. Well, wait that, a minute. How did you see if it's not aired? You can um, watch it on the DVDs. Oh. Maybe now it's, maybe now you can Was it more the it pharmacist? The dark web, I think. No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, it's, but it's a guy that like, he goes and finds, he's like, oh, we want you to be smart. Mm -hmm. We're going to go find a Jew. And then they have this whole thing about converting Christopher and blah, 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 whatever it's, but it's, I hear what you're saying. And I'm interested because I think like some of the times I watch it, I'm like, Hmm, they're really, uh, they're really bumping up against the fucking shallow end here. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just think, I don't know. I think it's interesting because there are, I think sometimes you see things that are like anti-Semitic and people don't, don't even like realize it's anti-Semitic. Does that make sense? Sure. Like there sure. are particular like, no, of course. Yeah. Like there are tropes you see in yeah. in in, no, in popular culture that are that are anti-Semitic and people don't even realize anti-Semitism is kind of having a moment right now too. It is, and yeah. I just wanted to say I was going to remember I told you I was going to announce on the show free Kanye the new <laughs> free Kanye mm -hmm. and the new uh, paraphernalia that's coming out next week for is, me. What is apparel? apparel. A pair of, no apparel and. Okay, accoutrements. Yes. Okay. Exterminate anti-Semitism. Oh, okay. I think it's going to sell big. It's a lot right. of words, though. Well, it's too too look long for that, words. Look right? for that on Cafe Exterminate anti-Semitism. I like it. So you should okay. have so that's like it. a maybe that's like my a, answer. A graphic image of like a rabbi with like a spray a spray ah. of a, an aerosol can of understanding. Yeah, I think okay. it's better uh -huh. without any visuals. Just no visuals? Words. No, just exterminate. That better be a long sleeve t shirt. You got a lot of words on that t shirt. Well, we'll do one on each. Okay, that's fine. Um Maybe you could do uh, little lightning bolts on there to really put them. <laughs> back to the Hugo Boss. Yeah, why not? Maybe Hugo, Hugo Boss. could de yeah, de yeah. design the ah, shirt. Yes, I'm so tired of the anti-Semitism here. Let's just <laughs> let's all wear little buttons. <laughs> 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 buttons because we love Jews. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think you see, uh, the ridiculous is the way to conquer this. Stuff. I mean, it's all it is. The all, ridiculous is the way to conquer it. Well, I've always said seriously mm, the reason mm, why I, there's anti-Semitism. Is because Jews throughout history have always said that they're the chosen people, and that will really rankle people. Correct. Better for better for worse, the Egyptians, the Romans, at all, because they go, "Oh, you think you're chosen? Huh? People get you rankled. Think you're yeah. this is the original. You think you're better than me? Yes. Yeah. And people it's not get a, rankled. It's not an evangelical or an inclusive religion. So, uh, yeah. But I just brought you in, so there's always exceptions. Yeah, point to the three. Rule. Well, I mean, if you convert, do they not consider that you can't a really, real? You can't. Really oh no, you're real. Nah. You know? Oh come on. Yes. I, I have. You've been to the Sammy Davis Junior uh, Yeshiva. I haven't. <laughs> um, here's the thing. What are you saying? 
I'm saying Sammy wasn't one of us. I'm okay. He's, I'm okay. He's not bona fide. Hey, man. Hey, Come man. on. Happy. I remember when I found out there was Ethiopian Jews. That yeah, blew my sure mind. There are. That blew my mind. Well, I think Tiffany Haddish might be. Hey, man. Those are guys who <laughs> hey, those hey, guys, hey, guys went south and they stayed there. Happy so. Rosh Hashanah, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Cat. It's a real wild time. You better not eat nothing. <laughs> um, what are you talking on. about? I'm doing Sammy a, Davis. I'm doing oh, a terrible oh, Sammy, Sammy Davis. Davis. Sammy right. Davis at yeah. uh, I got to blow the shofar. Hope he doesn't mind if I'm a little late. Traffic's bad. Sounds like Mae West. <laughs> I know. Really you you got to work here. on that. <laughs> it really does. Uh, you got to work on that. Come Sammy on, West. I wouldn't mind humming your tashin. Hey, oh, there no. you go. There you um, go. But no, the look, I know that you're not a rabbinical scholar, but. There are a lot of Jews out there that would say you cannot convert to Judaism. Mm. No. For better or for worse. Bring, bring them on the show and we'll talk about it. Right, Come on. It. Next right. week, the Mashiach, everybody. The Mashiach like and saying, Ebony Mystique. Uh, it, it, that's Dennis like Prager. saying you can't you know, become a naturalized citizen of another country. It's not the same as being born on soil of citizen parents and all that shit. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know. But it, you can't. You made a conscious decision. You're going to. We accept the identity. I think there's a fair amount of eye rolling if you're like some blonde, blue haired guy and you're like reading the Talmud at the sure. at the synagogue. Like, all oh, right, it would be great. This fucking guy. All I right. don't. See, I don't see that. Hi, I'd I'm like Tom to Robinson. That. I'd like to say Happy yeah. Hanukkah to everyone. <laughs> yes, boy. Seven days. Boys, get your dreidels out. <laughs> you know. Whoops. Uh, whoops. I, yeah. Mm. I don't. I don't know. Well, it's kind of like um, like my wife had this assistant that she worked with years ago, and she's from Jacksonville, real butterball. And uh, she married a Jewish guy from Westchester, and she would always put on Facebook like "Happy, like making latkes, y'all, yeah. like that oh, kind of stuff." It's so like, cute. Oh, it's no. cute. A little bit of my culture. No, that's very culture. cute. The Southern Jewish thing is really cute. But I mean, she's a great combo. Uh, she converted. Combo. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and exactly. she was converted. It's like so a, she was two steps. It's removed. different. I met a girl from Kentucky yesterday that was Jewish. Really? Well, uh, but um so that's like you but she's she actually was, jewish okay. but but yeah I mean, the 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 converted uh southern gal you know who my favorite southern jew of all times is was will be mm. uh, uh no so robert e. I, Lee I, I also, I also can't sales. think of a southern jew oh soupy yeah. sales he's still alive no he's no. still okay um soupy sales robert was... e. Lee Steen. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny hey. We're going to go to Virginia. We're in Gettysburg. It's too far. I'm up there. I'm hungry. You got to go back down. Oh, what are you going to do? Um, so hold on. Soupy Sales was from where? Uh, West Virginia. Really? Oh, yeah. Take me home. Mm -hmm. I don't Country know. roads. So there were Jews in West. See, there are Yeah, there are three, four. Yeah, yeah exactly. Three or four. Right. The coal mining uh, Jews. I, well, I yeah, guess, the owners of the coal mines. When, uh, when, I, was, when I went to Rahab, uh, I had there was a Saudi Arabian that's guy. In, I was going to say that's in Saudi Arabia. I was just going to say Rahab. that's in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, right. yeah. Riyadh is what you're thinking. You oh, I thought Rahab. Rahab is when there. I was in Rehab, shout Rahab. out Silver Hill. There was a uh, Saudi Arabian guy that was with me, and uh, he did a couple of shows. As a matter of fact, I would secretly do shows in the basement. Oh, how cute! And he said the most adorably, innocently anti-Semitic thing to me. I said one of the shows. I said, "What about Jews in Saudi Arabia? Do you have Jews in Saudi Arabia?" And he goes, "Of course we do." We have banks. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're Let's adorable. Stop. Yeah, argue with that. I mean, well, uh, I mean, he's like, someone's got to run these banks. Oh, uh, you know? yeah. yeah. If I mean, you don't have banks, you don't have. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, but he did make it very clear. He's like, there are Jews and there are Israelis. Ooh, very uh, different. Uh, Quite a distinction. The no, Middle, the, the, Middle East causes they have a yeah, real. That was back then. Now we're. This was two closer. years ago. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> now we're getting closer. <laughs> you think because there have been. Um, well, yeah, you know. Abraham Accords and shit. They used to draw. They mm. to, you'll you'll forgive the pun. They used to draw a line in the sand. <clears throat> That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been to Israel? Yes. Did you like it? Did you yes. go on the, the birthright? When I just when went. you were uh, he was, when he went, it was still Palestine. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I went. Yeah, I went when it was forty four. British mandate. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. I went at the end of the British mandate. This is nice. They should go yeah, to Israel. Love, no, Israel is beautiful. Of course, wonderful. Did you uh, have sex with any of the uh, the, the Israelis? Uh, no, it was I couldn't. It wasn't possible. What do you mean? Mm. Pecker didn't work. They were all <laughs> no, um, were locked I, up. No, it wasn't glass. the uh, logistics, the political logistics of the trip. And what, so you, what were you doing? They're doing not allow me to. Were you like wow. top secret Mossad or something? What do you mean? I just I couldn't you know go wherever I wanted whenever I wanted with whoever I wanted. No, you were on the clock, is what it sounds like. I was kind of on you the clock. I wasn't working. by myself. Oh. Oh, is this like a girlfriend type of thing? Like a, you're it's like both... a friend kind of thing. 
being very cagey. He's always well, very I'm cagey. cagey. I'm you cagey. Are. You are, yeah, KGB. But the cutest KG thing Howard. happened that kind of summarized Go ahead. the whole situation and all the thousands of years. It was adorable. It was about, oh, it must have been, when was the second Intifada? It was a long time, 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. Okay. We were in Jerusalem. Okay. It was absolutely, it was beautiful because, especially beautiful because it was absolutely dead. There were no tourists, nobody. Why? Why? So it's always could, busy there. Yeah, but, but but the Intifada just happened. And what is this, Antifada? For, Antifada for, was, just tell Adam. It was like mm. an organized, yeah. it was an organized uprising of certain Palestinians. Well, they're against know, fire. Against the, like. uh, against the, you know, the ruling. Uh, so they really shut it down. Mm. They yeah, said, and listen. then they shut it down. But somehow we, we were there. Well, you're Jews. It's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But still, there wasn't just nobody there. It was, it was beautiful because, you know, when you can wander the streets of, of a city, you know, and, and mm -hmm. they, it has a special magic when there's no not all busy with it. Right, 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 right. Has magic right. when it's havla, busy. havla. Want to buy some havla? But that's it. The kid, I walk a turn a corner. This little kid reminded me of like he was the Palestinian uh, Chico Marx. <laughs> okay, this cute little skinny Wait, kid, adorable. Those, kid. I don't know who that is, but it sounds like a great adorable. reference. I know. Tell him. Chico Marx Who's is Chico one Marx? of the lesser known Marx brothers. He was the one that sounded like he was oh, Italian. Chico, huh? Much, but, yeah. He was the one who did the Italian guy. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know there was another Marx brother. Chico. Oh, come on. Groucho, Marco, Chico, Blacko. Not mm. very popular, the last uh -huh. one. Um, there was that ahead, many so, but Chico was in everything with, it's a very, with those guys. Yeah, I mean, but, he... He wasn't. Yeah. He was Don't you remember scene. comedy from 80 years ago? Come on, Adam. I think I actually it. generation halfway, gap halfway yeah. into that. Nice. I think I was thinking of the Smothers Brothers. Okay. And I realized you're talking about the Marx Brothers. Soupy Sales was a Smothers Brother. Did you know? <laughs> and Carl was a Marx Brothers. Also, not oh known. boy. Okay. Kiko would talk it like it is. He would say, "Hey, yeah, grudge." What's the matter? What you is. don't believe in the sanity clause? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So cute. Very anyway, funny. this kid was like little Chico Marx, and uh, he was selling little wares, and there was not, you know, there was nothing going on. Right. Nothing. Right. So he mm. says, "Hey, Mister, buy something." He had, you know, some sure. Mister, 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 buy something. Mm. Hey, said, you're gonna can't. buy something, huh? I really. said, "I can't." You know why? And he said, "How come?" I said, "I don't have any money on me." He said, "Come on, buy something." I said, "I can't." He said, "Why?" I said, "It's it was Shabbos. It was oh. Saturday, uh, and I was, you know, playing by you well, know, I was, was anything more I Jewish than to pretend you're Orthodox." Boy. Well, I wasn't pretending I was Orthodox. I just, I really wasn't carrying it anything. Did not have literally. to buy something <laughs> except yeah. my passport. It's curled. Yeah. He hits a little yeah. button. The curls yeah. come down. <laughs> like the Venetian blind. <laughs> <Yes. drop> <laughs> Insta Jew. <Yeah>. So. Yeah. <laughs> So he said, buy something, buy something. He says, I'll loan it to you. Oh, oh I thought that was so sweet. That captured loan that it whole, to you. yeah, I'll loan Could it have been to with you. interest, though. You yeah, know, I know, but it captured that whole, uh -huh. yeah, the whole so, bittersweet thing. Did he, Very it was sweet. beautiful. Did he loan you a tchotchka? No, I said, oh. I'm sorry, I can't next time. A tchotchka? You didn't give you like a little sock puppet Yasser Arafat or something? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You see me tomorrow. Right. <laughs> that was a thousand dollars. Snow globe. Yes, no oh, he was adorable. The two towers, yeah, <laughs> burning. Uh -huh, sure, yeah. So, um, anyway, so we, what were you doing over there? Still on vacation? Just kind of checking it out? Yeah, it was kind of a, a just a working a visit. vacation. No, okay. it wasn't working. It was a visit. I see. Oh, Did you visit. go into the country, the Golan Heights, or anything? Did you no, go? unfortunately, there wasn't enough time to go really move around. I'd like to go back and look around. It's been a sh long weekend in Israel. It's far to go. No, it was like a week, but there's a lot of stuff in Jerusalem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a friend of mine. She was just in uh, Jerusalem. Well, three, three. And Tel Aviv ago. and some friends there. I'll tell a friend. Um, what are I, the three? Remember that one? You don't know this one from the old. This, what are the three fastest modes of communication? This is the old days. No. Remember? No. Uh, is one telephone, of them a, a Jewish no, mother. Telegraph, telephone, and tell a woman. Remember that? Oh. oh. Well, I can't, I can't believe it's an old joke that it has the word telegraph in it. Right. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. old. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who told that to you? Samuel Morse, another Jew. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but it's interesting because uh, this <clears> friend of mine, she went to uh, Israel just before the pandemic, and she said it was fucking crazy. And she said the craziest were the Christians. Mm. because there is they like when you, when you go to the wailing wall there's like coptic christians which are like the very very they're the christians from like you know the jesus you know 2000 2200 years ago uh, christians and then you have the muslims everyone claims the tower of david for themselves is that how that works kind of so it's kind of like I think more or less yeah so everyone says no this is our so it's like so the police have to constantly deal with like yeah. the muslims and the crazy orthodox jews and oh the, yeah you it's know. a yeah, I it's a lot it's a lot going you, on. Just you know, there's a lot going on. A lot going People on. People won't just drop it and you know 
share share Jerusalem. I mean, you can't, it's well, it's so I mean, stupid. You know? Yeah, and well, it's a, it, especially because it's not even divided in half; it's divided by a third, which yeah, is it's not. A, yeah, it's a tough one. Then you have the Scientologists now show up, and they're you know they're always causing problems now with their copies of Dianetics mm -hmm. on the whaling. They're wall. trying. They're always trying to rope other sort of religions into their. Oh yeah, into conversion. Their, Mm -hmm. yes very Which, evangelical well they kind of like they do a weird thing they did something with the uh the baptist church did they? i guess what and they, they got do? basically they'll go kind of just i think pay your representative whoever is kind of the leader a bunch of money to go like this is great no this is great and you know what they have makes a bunch this, of statistics and, you know what's a nice little like a, an add-on it's kind of like a, a it's a lime and a gin and tonic they're like you know what makes mm -hmm. this baptist shit really pop a little scientology yeah, uh -huh. just a cute. little like honesty. bitters, or yeah, yeah like bitters. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. just, yeah, exactly. Like a little lemon on your taco, just uh, <laughs> yes. or just mm, that really makes it pop. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, as you've gotten older, do you are yes. you are you religious? Do you believe in God? Uh, it's a big question. Well, we're here. We have a green screen. Should do. Oh yeah. Well. It's well, dead air, by the way. It's dead air. No, well, <laughs> I, I, the best I can do right now is you know one one searches and and ponders. As you get older, no, as you get older, does it freak you out to get older? Because I'm going to be fifty in like six months or so, and I'm I'm freaking out. I'm not freaking out, but I'm like I'm think it's the first birthday. Well, forty seven was kind of like where I was like, hmm, I'm getting into my mid to late forties. So it's like I'm thinking about. I'm starting to look at like the the years ahead and being like i probably have like 26 more years where i can make it like stairs won't be an issue necessarily mm. i don't know like i i think of those kind of i'm starting to think about my own mortality more than i've ever had yeah that makes sense one does the, right think about does it get mortality. better at some point like do you not yet you, okay no. so have you are you think do you think you think about your mortality more at 73 or do you think about it more at 49? No, I think you think about it more at 73, and I think you think about it more personally than you do at 43. Like, it, it's less of, like, an esoteric yeah. kind of, like, uh, okay. Yeah, and in part because uh, the, of the natural progression, the things around you, people around you die, and so on like that, and you see more of it, and you think, hmm, mm. this mortality thing is, you know, As so, I it's do real. It. As I've gotten older. Some to this. Some to this old dying to this But don't old. you, do you find, and I'm curious to know this, I, as I've as I've gotten older, I don't think more. I think less about the future, and I think more about the past. I think about like regrets and decisions that I've made. I've had a few. Uh, yeah, but but, yeah, but not too yeah. few to mention. I'll uh -huh. sit here all day. <laughs> you kidding me? Until these lights burn out. Um, but yeah, no, there's that too. Yeah, I like, can I can think of a few that I've been pondering more than I did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it's weird because the older I get, yeah, sure. the more I, I feel like I live in the past and I sort of realize, I'm like, hmm, I should have done that differently. Oh, yeah. Could have, so, should have, would have. That's Consumed big. by regret. <laughs> I would ask Adam. He's Adam, making fun because he's just Adam a kid. Adam doesn't have any. He's a kid. He doesn't have what we say feelings <laughs> or any. <laughs> oh, that. I, I once cut. I do. I just tamp him down. He tamps him. I once cut right. Adam's and he's full of Sour Patch It was an antifreeze. Yeah, just antifreeze. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah, you're like Lance Henriksen in Aliens. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like it's a goop. Yeah. Um, but but he's young. You don't. You know. You're 40, 40 41. Now? 41. My boy, oh, he's not that young. No. no, I'm not that young. You know what I've noticed? Even with my vision, your hair is getting grayer. Got a little, I'm getting it's a little salt and pepper. It's starting to get a getting little, little yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it actually. Salt and pepper. You look yeah, distinguished. Look distinguished. Extinguished, People might yeah. start to think I'm close to my age now. Yeah, because it, it as as much as you ideally you're like oh you want to look young it's awkward because like I think I told you my look, team that I work with like nobody really you don't really talk about your age no so everybody thought I was like early 30s sure yeah and then I had to have the conversation with like my boss that I'm actually older than her but because she would you always did? go oh Adam's a lot younger and hipper he knows. And right. like oh, I knew cute. I was older. It's a little awkward. Yeah. You're like, you may think I'm young, but my favorite band, the Goo Goo Dolls. Right. <laughs> Weezer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Or hash pipe even. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, no. Well, it is interesting because um it's funny because I, I recently when I, I got my uh recently vaccinated and this woman was I, yeah, thank you. Uh it's so I, I wish it would vaccinate the gay away, but um <laughs> This woman was in the CVS and she started talking to me, you know, as, as women do. And she was yeah, like, that's what mm, I said. Broads. Broads. Yeah, this one. I I Telegraph to a woman. I said, hey, the Vagisil's over there. Yeah. Yeah, wash your coos out. 
uh-huh. but uh <laughs> but she was saying to me she goes she asked me she goes ask how old i was because she was like in her 80s so when you're in your oh 80s, you can ask it's, anything it's freeing i think to be older like mm, that it, it is it is so i told her i said well i'm 49 and she said oh you look younger than that i said well, oh geez, see, thanks. that's nice. having hair you have a nice head of hair for your nice age head of hair. yeah i mean you know, and you it's physically my mother. look the same. And well, the goatee also is like your mother's, but uh, <laughs> but you physically have the same body that you probably had 30, 40 years ago. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's good to to be that. Do you exercise at all other than like walking? Well, big the dog? walking and stuff. No. I was... How much you bench? I'm just kidding. You no, bench? I don't do that shit. No. You know? Good though. My father in law. No, I'm not knocking. Just... Not, go ahead and do it, everybody. I just don't, you know, I don't. Stretching or any yoga or anything, anything like That's that. That's too. Uh, too, too affected for yeah, me. Too affected yeah. for you. Drowning dog or whatever. Down, <laughs> down, down <laughs> dog. Or down, down dog. Down, down syndrome dog. dog or something. Right. right. Yeah. Right. I, have you ever done yoga? I've attempted a little bit. I've like attempted. A, like a yeah. class? No, 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 no. Just the video. Just like a YouTube or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It would be nice to be a little more flexible. I'm not. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, uh, I, I can't touch my toes. I used to get really, really high and stretch like when i was alone a long time ago and that was actually fun because you'd be really stoned and i would like get into it you know you did deep breathe breathing deeply and did you or did you just i would i would you were imagining i've never been flexible i've never been athletic um my dad played lacrosse um serious well it's a maryland thing it's like you know that's what you that's a baltimore thing baltimore thing Baltimore thing. it's the fastest game on two legs that's what they always say (laughs) fastest game on. well i played i played a lot of baseball when i was a kid did you really was good that was fun and it was good for him. Was your Satchel Williams your favorite? It was the fucking guy. No, I'm thinking of no. Uh, uh, Ty Cobb was big. Yeah, <laughs> well, speaking of a racist, he uh, was big. He yeah. was big. Yeah, it, he was it, a great player. Were you devastated when they fixed the 1908 World Series or whatever that was? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. When did you? Uh, you must have played in the Bronx, right? Yeah. Did you Sedgwick play? Little League? Okay. And a lot of fun. Did you? Uh, was, it was it, great. Did you play for like a uh, like a city youth league or? Well. I mean, with Little League, right? Like, Little League. Okay. But you didn't go any, you didn't play at Harvard? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, foul ball. Foul <laughs> ball, old bean. Foul no, ball. I didn't play. In, no, I played when I was a kid. Then okay. it was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never understand. I like, love I love baseball. It, I still can't believe that football's overtaken baseball as national pastime. I, I refuse to believe that. Oh, I think it's terrible. He loves his football. I love football. Yeah. Terrible. It's so violent. It's I can I can get that. <laughs> oh, That's okay. No, it's but, better. That it they're, 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 baseball? Little, they're a little better. I mean, you know, I times change. Violence, times change. I know. Is it really the, I mean, I don't know. They I do guess, change. Yeah. Is it more popular? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's kind of weird. Well, the reason there's a reason why it's because football is it's an event that it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, there's 18 sh- weeks in the yeah. season, and it's like a big and it's, it's high stakes. They play fucking yep. baseball nine months out of the That's year. That's the thing. It's, if they maybe if they reined it in, why don't a we rein in? Let's the rebrand season. baseball. Yeah, rein in the season. You should hire us. And throw no, some, we're not going to rein in. You have some, to play all spring and summer. That's the fun of it. No. But it's it, but it's not. It doesn't have the high stakes that football has. Mm. Every game matters in football. They should throw ultimate fighting in with every baseball. game doesn't matter <laughs> in baseball. Right. Yeah. You can fucking listen. You can play a baseball. This, okay. The Yankees can lose like 40 games and still win the World Series. Yeah, but the they games can't matter. Okay. I'm talking about in terms of a championship. Mm-hmm. The yeah, World Series. You, you can win the World Series. You can lose like everything and then still win the World Series. You can't be the fucking New York Giants. Well, New York Giants not a good example, but like you can't. If you're a football team, you have to win X amount of games. It's like a ladder system. How right? long? Yeah. How long is the uh, baseball season? Doesn't it go over? It must go pretty. Yeah. Pretty it starts well. in like May and ends like yesterday. No, April. Yeah. April. April even. It's like six months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they the, play yeah. like a hundred odds. It's April, May, June, July, August, September. and football is just like you know. Summer. Yeah, and football they play like I mean that's not why that's not why. Well, it is in that it, there why. are higher stakes to it. It's also more of like it's an event where like Sunday people watch it. There's mm-hmm. bars. There's food. There's nobody really like nobody goes to watch the games. Necess- Have you ever been to a football game? Yeah, a couple, but not people that don't many. go to watch the game. No. Well, it's the threshold is is oh, our light went off. It is a little different because what, um what is this the about? because like if you maybe it's a cable. No, I think it's just like a setting on it or something oh, like that. Okay. But we'll reset when we do the Patreon. Um, but 
I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, I'm talking about, about football, football, and what and uh, and and why why it, it has uh, so called eclipsed baseball. Yeah, well, it, also the physical limit, the physical limitation they play. Because I mean, the NFL season is is pretty long too, really. If you if you include kind of the preseason, but it's they play way fewer games. Whereas like baseball, don't they play like? Oh yeah. They play like a bunch of They'll days play like in a four row, one right? Day. They'll play four in one day sometimes. <laughs> one day. They'll get those two double headers. What's I mean, I would honestly, if football didn't exist, I would watch baseball. I I don't I don't mind baseball. I go to games. Oh, I know what I was gonna say because the threshold of to to see a game in a, a stadium is is costs a lot much a lot more right. if you want good enough seats to where you can really see what's going on. So, but you can watch it at home uh, yeah, for, for free. It's all so, about the tube. and there's all the angles and stuff. So it is kind of a, it's by the all way, about the tube. This is about there's the no more tubes in television, by tubes? the way. <laughs> yeah, but yes, uh, what? I, I tell you one thing. Tubes. Football. What happened to those? Oh, what? You, you you know? Tell me you don't have a tube in your television. You have a flat screen TV. Don't that, they have tubes in there? No, no, it's like a gas. I'm not a tech guy. What do but I? But no, it's not like a big, you know, big aperture in the back I of the love thing. Those, but those uh, big bulbs. Yeah, you got a big old you got a 13 inch zenith that weighs eight thousand pounds. <laughs> I remember when we, that was watching television. Yeah, that's when. Yeah, you would turn it on. Gosh, and you're like yeah. darn it, that little like watch thing. Falcon Boom. Crest. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That was a, those are good times. The the yeah. fucking yeah, big the, set. The uh, the remote was like a car battery, it and it was ta- it was attached to the television. Yeah, it was a big I never saw one of those. There was were there wired ones? Yeah, our cable box. I remember our cable that we had. Our cable had Ooh, a cord. Someone, someone was someone's doing, doing, doing well. well. Someone it, did well for and themselves. The cable, and the cable remote had like a dial, so you would switch it, mm. go like that. Nice, and it was attached to the television. So. I remember because my father would get drunk every time I would oh, ever that's see a, him. And that's wow. a sweet, every time. That's a sweet <laughs> yeah. memory. Oh my God. That's I remember nice he would get drunk always. The family. I'd have to wake him up. It would be it would be under it would be underneath his uh you know his arm. So, Daddy, yeah. I'm trying to go to sleep. Do you ever fall asleep with a lit cigarette in his hands? Oh yeah, I have to stub oh, it out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I feel like that that's was an scary. old-timey thing. That's an old-timey or, thing. Or scary. Smoking. Or smoking it. Did you ever smoke? Yeah, I still smoke a cigar once in a while. I don't mean cigar. I mean like cigarettes. Like oh no, no, a pack of Paul Malls or anything. No, but everyone used to. Who smoke. would do that? Everyone used to smoke up until like twenty five years ago. Everyone mm-hmm. fucking smoked. Everybody, not cigarette. Yes, sure. Come on ashtrays. I mean, there people did. No, I'm all for it, but I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I never occasional smoked. cigar or pipe. A pipe. A pipe. A mir- cup, one of those pipe. big Mearschmidt things. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. like yeah. uh, what, like Kramer smokes on Seinfeld. I never seen it. Mm. See, not, you're not missing out on something. I don't like those. Uh, he's a oh, racist. I, into it. I don't watch that. Shit. Oh, yeah. he's funny, uh, Michael Richards. Oh, come on, man. I don't know. Guy. Yeah, he's, he's fun. very funny. I, yeah, and physical like comedy is brilliant. Yeah, sure. That no, no. I mean, no. Oh, I, I think he's funny. Yeah, I, I, I liked the show. What I liked, the Jewish I, thing again? I liked what the show about no. the Jews. He said all this. He said the N word, man. It, but, but he also so like. But he also elaborated. So what? Relax. He, he didn't just. He screamed the N word a bunch of times, but then he also elaborated on it with things that with his the ideas but so it wasn't just like oh i let it slip yeah it was like i'm a white man and i'm speaking like he he gave a whole uh he was telling he, the truth as well i will tell you what he did truth. he made his a, of no, course okay. his truth no, wow. here's what he did he did a, this no. guy wants to exterminate uh, anti-semitism how are you going to get saying. a shoe shine then yeah what oh. <laughs> no here's what it, here's what he did my I've, wa- I've watched this like this yeah. a pruder film Michael Richards is not a stand-up comic, okay? No, no, no. But he was at the Laugh Factory, okay? And he was up. I performed on the same stage with the young, with Tom Arnold, not the name drop. <laughs> Thank you very much. And he went up there and he started doing stuff. And the problem is, is like I've been in comedy clubs where like people that don't do comedy, yes, like right. who, uh, but yeah. who are famous, right. mm-hmm. do comedy. Yeah. And what happens is, is the an audience will pop, meaning an audience will get excited. Yeah. For a person that they recognize they're going to go oh fuck michael you know kramer's here kramer's but part. here's the thing after two minutes if he's not funny right. then the audience will lose him and this is a guy who is in his own respect a comedy genius but he is a per- he's a sketch comedy he's a comedic actor yeah. so mm-hmm. what happens was the audience he started getting heckled Right, and he didn't so like he that. made a choice, and he, in his mind, he goes, "You know, it's going to be funny if I start pretending like I'm a crazy racist." 
and I'll get Do you the, think that's what oh, yes. now that's really? a different thing than you're saying. You're yes. saying it was just coming from him. I think he made I, a I think oh, that's he, interesting. I think he fell in I think he made a choice to play like a character. I honestly I do. Really? I'm, I'm, give, I'm giving him a break. You're giving him a big break. I well, think. here's the thing. In every performance there's truth, but I think I think he looked at this guy and he goes, okay, you don't want to do it. I'll get the audience back. I'm going to go, he's a nigger. He's a nigger. And that's oh what he started doing. God. Yeah. And then he goes, and he saw the audience wasn't really going for it. So then he goes, I'm going to make myself look really ridiculous and I'm going to back into it. And what I'm going to go. Has anybody else offered huh. that theory? Uh, no, dude. I, I don't think, <laughs> think, I think you're giving, listen, he's a great actor. So if anybody could pull it off, well, the, the, I'll say yes, but I don't, I think that that was full you, on. Did rage. he say himself in any kind of afterwards? You know, no, I was he, just he never said he was around. Kidding. Even on the letter. That's what I'm saying. I, I think say he's, he I, I think he's fucking crazy. And I well, think, yeah, clearly. I think he got, I think he realized what he said didn't work. And then he doubled down and he and he went in the wrong he went in the wrong mm. direction comedically. Interesting. Whether or not that's how he really feels, but, but it was it was all a performance. He didn't really feel that he made a decision up there. He goes, you know what? This guy's heckling me. I am gonna really go at him. And he started doing crowd work and he made a decision to do the Very worst kind of crowd theory. work. <laughs> I don't think you okay. can prove it. I or have not, never heard but, that theory. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling even, you, I would think free he speech, would, baby. I would have thought he would have said that, though. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. I don't think he even he knows. offered that. So I don't he think... was so committed to the bit, he didn't know it was a bit. Yeah, I think he would. I th I'm, and by, by the way, I'm not apologizing for Michael Richards. No, 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 no. I don't no, give but a you're fuck just, about the guy. Just... But I've watched it, and I'm like, he doubled down in the wrong. He, did, he made a really bad choice. Interesting. Yikes. And I think if you watch it, you realize, and then he realize, he goes, oh, this isn't working. So then he goes, yeah, everybody. And he tried to like get the audience back. And by the way, getting an audience back is very difficult. Okay. okay. And yeah, so no doubt. he kind of like, he pivoted and then he was like, fuck. And then the whole thing fell apart. Mm. Okay. So well, it's a theory. And again, Show that, is. by the way, making that decision is you could argue that that's even racist to like to mm. think that that's a kid that that just comes right on top of your head. You're like, I know what Jesus I'll do. Jesus Christ. I, yeah. So. But he's never really recovered him. He's done cure no. Kirby enthusiasm a little a little bit. What's wrong with Curb? Well, nothing's wrong with the show, but I'm saying he's that's the only other thing he's done professionally is he's been on Curb Your Enthusiasm, right? Guess who I know I who's on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh god. New personal friend of mine since we're throwing this Hollywood uh, stuff you, around. Andy Sid Dick. Caesar. No, your show shows. Although we knew him. Who's on Curb Your Enthusiasm? You know, well, your give me with? the I don't really Ooh, know the show. There's oh, Larry yeah. David and no, uh, Sue, this is Susie just a little, just a, oh, oh, I, I think we, he comes and goes sometimes. Just a He's little not bit a part. Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh. Uh, Very uh, nice fellow. Fuck, what's his name? Mm -hmm, him. Uh, uh, comedian, like a comedian. stand-up? Uh, no, I don't think he's a stand-up. Oh, okay, the guy I'm thinking of. Yeah. Who's a black guy that uh, everyone loves? No, not JB's, black, JB's white. J.B. Smooth? Yeah, no, J.B. Smooth. JB Smooth. I met him on Zoom the other day. No, he's white. <laughs> J.B. Smooth is not white. He's, no, he's my friend is man, white. You know? Of course he is racist. Uh, I was I don't thinking know any Richard... Uh, Richard no. Kind, that's right. Is it Richard oh, Kind? Yeah. You know Richard Kind? I know we're good. He lives you in know, the neighborhood. He's you know Dick Kind? Yeah. Can, what, can he they come all over? know each other. They're seventy year old. Uh, you want him on the show? Yeah, of course we want. I'll Dickie bring him kind. on. You want Richard Kind, right? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, right? We'll bring him on with Ebony Mystique. I was going to say Ebony. Hey, hey listen, I want to be my... on with one of those guys. That's not fair. Come on now. I want you to sit on my face. Can we face? both be on with them? Yeah, of course. You bring them with you. We'll All right. Get, I'll, I'll move a Richard spot with. over. Let for, me see if you get yeah, We'll get a stack of microphones, the likes of which you, you'll, think you're, <laughs> you'll think you're at Sam Ash. He's a he's a delightful guy. Oh, I have he's seen him walking nice around guy. before. Yeah, he's yeah. a nice fellow. Yeah. I didn't I, know you knew him, though. From the dog. He's, he has a dog. dog run. Like a Pomeranian. Wilson. No, no. Wonderful young... Uh, Labrador Retriever, blonde lab, very Ooh. nice boy, very cute, boy. okay, very pretty. And did you anyway. did you play it cool when you met him, or did you are you like no? Because frankly, I didn't know who he was at all. Even though I've seen her television so a, a tube in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We but don't get on, that. He's on, on all these procedurals. Yeah. Too. He's on a lot of other stuff. Like, right? yeah. Are you on F Troop? <laughs> okay, I had to say he so. would have done well on F. Oh, sure he would have. That was a, that show. Is, you can't really do that anymore. But uh, yeah, a show about a Calvary. As a matter of fort. fact, he came through. Um, he came through the uh, polls the other day. I was working the polls on Tuesday. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He came and voted. You guys gonna get a bed and breakfast in Provincetown this summer? <laughs> you have a couple of queers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is he? Was he nice to you and everything? He's always nice. Yeah. I bet. So very sweet. Okay. 
now have you let it know have anyway you, but that's not hold on what were have we you talking have about you, no 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 you're you name drop we're gonna do it right. all right i can name drop you, have you, you hey hollywood do you now, now go hey listen i know you're from curb i'm a big fan or have no. you still playing it cool oh we're much cooler than that we're just buddies yeah, but now. i mean have you we're acknowledged funny. i know but you can still be friends with somebody and acknowledge have you gone no now? i probably have told him that i don't you know i've told him i'm not i don't really yeah you know, you, i don't know the whole scene but i i've seen you on curb have, have you handed him a screenplay been like listen this is a handsome 70 year old constitutional lawyer it's a treatment i've written <laughs> <laughs> and all these hot babes want to fuck them. Right. Um, right. Here, played it's, by Robert Downey Jr. It's 500 pages. Yeah. It's a little long. <laughs> oh, yes. It but needs if, some editing, but yeah. we'll work on it. If that. I could get some notes uh, from you by tomorrow, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> that's, oh, that's so really, cute. Any any drama from the uh, dog run recently? <sighs> Nothing big. No. What about that fucking weirdo with the real short shorts and the daughter that he thinks is too fat and he makes her run around? Oh, Howard, the other Howard, the other Howard. Yeah, he uh, he hasn't been coming into the run anymore. He was kind of banished. Yeah, he's it's not funny. Yeah, but he runs by. He do, he's a jogger, yeah. and and the dog. This guy runs, runs by through. in shorts that are so short as you can see his cock and balls. Like, too short for the dog. Way room. Too, too hot for the dog. Room. Too hot. Too short for a gay bathhouse. Like. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> And he wears like a headband and everything. He's a real Ooh. piece of work. You look at a guy like that, you're like, I can't believe anybody's ever fucked him. But clearly... well, he has three daughters, so I don't know. Maybe Ooh. they're adopted, but no. He came to the polls too. He came through. Everybody came. So wait, you home. worked the polls? Absolutely. Did Foot you... soldier I can't in the say army I'm of shocked. democracy. Are you shocked? Well, that's my. You know, it's been my. Okay, life I think that blood. sounds exactly right. Yeah. I yeah. know we like to make these shows evergreen, but the, the midterms were just two days ago. Oh, right. Um, For those out there, I wanted to ask you. Maybe you know the answer to this question. You will know if you don't know, then nobody else will know because I'm not going to ask anybody else. Now but, you got me on the spot. I'm hold gonna... on, it's pretty easy for you, I'm sure. When I, uh, for those of you who are international, shout mm -hmm. out Ted. Mm -hmm. um, when and you know, Steve Lemon and Steve Lemon. When you sorry, I said his last name. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. Steve fucking Lime. Steve I fucking say. Steve Lime. Steve no scurvy heaven. Fucking yeah. Steve, Steve citrus lover. Uh huh. Um, when you okay, so in America, when you America. go to the when you go to the polls, yeah, you go. There's a table. There's some weird older guy. No offense. Or woman. Or, or some broad. In my, in my neighborhood, it, it was, broad, it was a hysterical uh, Latin lady. Okay. Really? She was funny? There are variations on the thing. No, hysterical and like just very frantic and overwhelmed. And was it always very stressed Was it too out. busy? It was a little bit. It wasn't that bad. Oh, well, but they're just maybe. very, they seem, it's weird because they're volunteering, but they feel, it seems very put upon. And I'm like, like, oh. oh. You bet. Basically, let me guess. You want to participate in democracy? I yeah. guess we owe. <laughs> and I, I, actually, I brought my registration card, and they were like, "She was happy with me because I brought my card." But yeah, it makes it easy. She was very mad. Everybody okay, else, no, because you have to look up the address. And right. right so let me ask. Steps. Okay, then let me ask my question. Yes, sir. Yeah. When I went with my wife, we got to the desk. Right. We. I said, of course, I made a joke. You ready for the uh, joke? Of course, you made a joke. Uh -huh. I said, "Hi, uh, two McCarthy, something by the window." <laughs> I know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet they and, love that. Oh, they fucking did. They get it, it in fucking stitches. This guy goes, you know, all day long I've been waiting to laugh, and yeah, now exactly, I did. Uh -huh. Exactly. Fucking this guy. Exactly. Knows, I vote for you to be the funniest guy ever. Uh -huh. Um. Don't so, make fun of homosexual. Class I'm not. Class it's a, it's a, it's that a, wasn't a homosexual. That was like a right. That's like a vaudeville guy, a vaudeville fucking cartoon. Yeah. Exactly. That would have been like, oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, you want gay? We'll get you. You want to? Yeah, go in the booth. I'll come suck your dick there in a minute. You big queer. <laughs> that would be gay. <laughs> that would be gay. That will go and take yes. it. The now, yeah, the ninth one down is a glory hole. <laughs> All right, so I go up. They're yeah. there, and the guy goes, "Where do you live?" And right. I told him my address. Yep. And he goes, "Go to table 40. Yep. I went to table forty. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. The guy goes, "Hi, what's your last name?" I told him my last name. Okay, great. And he hands me the ballot. At no time did anybody ask me for any ID. Really? Correct. Correct. Really? Now, let me elaborate, though. Please. In New oh, York yeah, State, yes. there's a federal system, right? The states have their own Allegedly. million and one rules and regs. Yeah, sure. Here, you don't have to show your ID. I'm not necessarily in favor of that, but that's the rule in New York. If they've got you in the book and the signature when you sign matches quote unquote you're good enough Matt, some volunteer is gonna like yeah, they're not some right, signature I mean, all I now get... you sound like a republican but that's part of the problem a lot of people have a legitimate crap they say that's all you need to do how about mm. an id with a picture right come on you're voting so let's say i can i agree with yeah that. i don't think i got that's the rule either. in new york okay so if i'm in the right no, if you I, don't get asked for id here yeah so if i'm in no. the right district i could have said hey adam 
do me a favor. I'm not going to be in my neighborhood on Saturday. Yeah, Go I vote guess, for him. right? And you I could have just I gone could've. and voted. If, uh, if he could def- forge your signature well enough, do they even look at yeah, it? Or, my signature is all well, over well enough. It's a very yeah. But also, you know, if it's close enough, I, they're not. Uh, you're I, not going to mm-hmm. get a cross exam on it. I can't remember. Do you sign it electronically? Like, do they yes, scan you it? Do so, okay. It, and it's, so it's kind of sloppier when you sign it. But yeah, no, no. My point sloppy. is, yeah. Does the is there a program in the electronic signature that matches my signature or no? Do you see my question? Yes. Uh, I'm over asked on that one. I don't know if the program actually has the pass. Okay. Actually. So like, you know, so they can, they hand me an iPad I or whatever. I think it does though. Okay. Cause they're comparing. Okay. But they're no experts. How do they? Well, the program them? does it. Then that's the something else entirely. But yeah. then you got to worry about some sort of weird, li- the program, some democratic computer. Does that happen once in a while? But you know, it's not going to shift any, it, it always stuff like that always happens. I just thought it was really odd. But it is an argument for ID, which I agree with. But other states, they do ask you for ID. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. And if you're black, you can't vote. Is that how that works? I oh. think so. I think they hold up a paper bag if you're darker than Yeah, it's the cardboard allowed. test. Not allowed to vote. Hold on. Before I let you in there, who are you going to vote for, boy? Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm a, whoever, yeah. Whoever. We should say hi to some folks and then switch over. We're going to say hi to everybody. Because we hey, can, by we the can way, put comments on the screen. We've got comments oh. on the screen. We're going to put them behind Our buddy us. buddy Paul Dinnan's watching. Hey, Paul. What's up, pal? Look at that. Yeah. We've got Howard here constitutional law michael richards boy you, you want to kill yourself yet um what who's paul it's a friend of mine who listens to the show oh he, hi, he's paul. my friend who lives in puerto rico sometimes oh, no. but, but, where is he right now uh Do right now know? he's in canada wow oh, he's in yeah. canada right now yes they left canada. Canada. they left Cor- he moves Korea. around uh paul said it's a sad day for comedy gallagher died looking forward to hollywood howard's thoughts here's the thing he has oh, no idea so we talked about this <laughs> off off I'm mic so howard doesn't know who gallagher is was, Hold on, let me ask was, you a question was do you remember? I thought it was a bar downtown. Okay. In the good early... news, we got a backup Gallagher. There's Gallagher Two, and there's Gallagher Two Thousand in Queens. Ooh, there where, sure is. Where they yanked it, come out of you like a fucking. Ask for Tatiana. Yes. Whoa. Exactly. Oh, you, you Ukrainian mix <laughs> mini comes. No. Do I didn't you? Know okay. Let, let me let me just paint the picture of Gallagher. He's a bald guy yeah. with crazy hair, mustache, little skinny guy with a sledgematic sledgehammer. Yeah. And he would smash watermelons. Does no. any of that ring a bell? No. Nope. No. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say. Maybe the obituary tomorrow in the Times or whatever. <clears throat> the Times. Yeah. Oh, they'll have a Isn't hole, he going to make sure. it? Sure. Sure he will. Oh, if he was a big comedian? Sure. There's yeah, not yeah. going to be. They haven't come to you yet? They do the I have, his, I have his daughter's number in my phone. Do you really? I know Gallagher. You know the story. Uh, Vaguely. Well, without getting into the whole thing. When we moved to Los Angeles, my daughter's first birthday, my wife was working at uh, at the Four Seasons out there, and there was this uh, Eddie Ift buddy of mine was at this was at a little party we had, and there was this girl, and she, her name was Amy, and she goes, "Hey, my dad's a comedian," and we go, "Oh, that's fun. What's his name?" She goes, "Gallagher," <laughs> and we were, and I said, "I'm sorry, what do you mean?" She goes. Yeah, my name's Amy Gallagher, and we like were like, it's "Actually, Gallagher." Your dad's like That's Gallagher, nice. Gallagher, the smashing watermelon guy. Because I'm, you're an anomaly. Most people know, even if you don't know. I know you live in, in you go to Israel and the Wailing Wall, and you live. Yeah, in no, Italy. but I know Richards and uh, but kind and you know, all yeah, David all the big, and all, all the your big guys. Ones. You're very plugged in to the upper. Both west of side. those are not actually are not really stand-ups. Yeah, and also I would I say, know uh, what's your name? Ran for phone? mayor. Michael Richards? No. Your He's a man. Man. The girl who ran for mayor. Oh. The nice girl. She's just. Oh, the red up. hair. Cynthia Nixon. That She's no. neither she's a Cynthia Nixon. Red girl hair. Oh, Stacey Pressman. Press Pressman. Press man. Oh, yeah. Stacey Pressman. Yeah. Remember her? Mm. Yeah. Good old. She's cute. Good old I mean, saggy tits. The... Pressman. What is she up to? Hey, right? Oh, I thought hey. they looked pretty good. She's Didn't the she libertarian candidate for mayor. Does she run again? No, this last time last okay. year. Well, she'll get it. I, know, she'll I just realized she got on this seven sh- votes. Come on, <laughs> on this this show, we've had multiple guests hand pictures of their of their tits to they just go like, here you go. Well, and just it's an you interesting mean like thing. Ebony, what's her name, and those guys. No, well, they oh. just no, yeah, but uh, to... Stacey Prussman and then uh, what's her name, um, Natasha did the same thing. Oh, too. Natasha, yeah, yeah. Natasha, yeah. right? You, you would be like talking about their tits, and then they would hand a photo, and I think Prussman did the same thing. Yeah, Prussman, she had, did. Yeah. It's an interesting. Uh, 
Well, I mean, what did she do? Dynamic. Take out of her ID wallet? I don't or... remember. This was a while ago. This was she's, back in Brooklyn. She's but... like, she didn't here, do my that mom with me. took a picture of this. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. I just oh, remember it was for medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I was well. Anyway, so okay, okay. Yeah. Getting back to the thing. So I'm in my apartment, my house, in my little place in uh, Los Angeles. And so we said to Amy, we said, so wait a minute, your dad is Gallagher, the guy who smashes the watermelons, because he was a huge deal. Huge, huge. The first comedian to have an HBO special. Boom. Wow. That's it. The so, entire tarp industry owes everything to Gallagher. That guy, watermelons would get ner- at Produce departments would get nervous. Guar he, and Gallagher. Yeah, Guar and Gallagher. They were the... So, and he had the sledgematic, the big sledgehammer, and uh, I don't remember his material. And you would, he, and his, these are his words, I'm paraphrasing, but um, he invented interactive comedy. So he would go, I'm going to smash this watermelon. And then the whole audience would hold up a tarp and he would smash it. Was people he funny? Had clear plastic. You know what? And Listen, the, I think he was funny, right? I don't people recall, had a, but people had a, funny? People had a great but, time. Oh, that's, yeah, they had that's fun. what counts. The, he yeah. had a big run. He and, was like uh, the, oh, God bless him. Larry the Cable Guy for the. And you he know, came up with of. like Richard like, Pryor. I mean, he oh, okay. was like, he was a big He's like, deal. like the Mike Lindell of comedy. Mike Lindell? Who's yeah, the, Lindell, my pillow the My guy? Pillow guy. Yeah. I don't know about that. You so know, he, he was, you know, he's from he was my to home. comedy as Lindell was to pillow. Lindell's from my hometown. Did you know that? Really? Why would you know that? I don't know. No, why, why that's right, cool. Right, from right, my hometown. Right, Do you know the pride them? of Mankato. You guys know the Lindell? Oh, he's a babysitting. Are you serious? No. But he was a, I think he was a meth. He was on meth. Yeah, no crack. Crack. Oh, beg your pardon. He was? Oh, he's reformed? Yeah, he's like one of those guys. Wow, he's all, Jesus! No wonder he's wearing. Yeah, he wears the cross on his sure ads does. on Fox sure News. All right, yeah. anyway, hey guys, Don, can I please? This is my yeah, eul- ahead, poor Gally. Ahead. This is the best eulogies oh, motherfuckers God. ever gonna have. By the way, <laughs> isn't this the Adam Show? What would show am I on here? I thought it was on the Adam Show. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, go ahead. So we're with Eddie, please. And we say to Amy, "Can where does your dad live?" And she goes, "He lives like five minutes away." And we said, "Can you get him over here?" She goes, "Yeah, I'll call him." She calls her dad and she goes, hey, I'm with Ryan and uh, this sure. guy, comedian Eddie Ift. And he goes, Eddie Ift. No, he didn't say that. But um, and then um, she, she goes, we're having a party and then he's made a big tomato sauce. Do you want to come over and like meet the guys and hang out? And she hangs up and she goes, he'll be over here in a half an hour. Oh, so man. I said, holy That's fuck, great. what does your dad drink? She goes, he likes tequila. So I run to the liquor store. Love it. I got a bottle of Patron Añejo, Whoa. brought it back. All of a sudden, who pulls up in a Mazda six two six in a little in a little like, in a little leisure suit, like a little wow. jogging outfit with dyed? You know, he's bald, but he has long hair on the sides, and he would often he does, wear like yeah. um one of those like um like a derby hat or something. Like sure, a, and yeah, like a little driver hat, like right? a little driver hat. Pull yeah. up a picture for, while I'm telling this, yeah, please. Yeah, you to, you'll recognize him. You'll let's see the uh, photo, so photo you photo have to recognize. Him. So he walks to the front door, and I I actually have I should find pictures. I have pictures with him. And so, yeah, right. and he walks in the door, and I said, hey, Gallagher, I said, we're big fans. So nice to meet you. And, uh, and he shows up and he looked like, and he, I said, what do you do these days? Which is never a good thing to ask. Yeah, yeah no, that's <laughs> especially goes, at the door. Right? And he goes, yeah. I day, he goes, I day trade. He goes, I day trade. And oh, he, does he yeah, really? Uh, but he also crypto, stuff, crypto. but late in his career up until probably a week ago, <laughs> he would do comedy clubs <laughs> and famously he went on Mark Maron's podcast about 10 years ago yeah. and he walked out of the interview because Gallagher became kind of a big tea party MAGA. Yeah, I mean he's he's overall he's just kind of a grouch. I don't even know if they oh, were talking about th- politics. That guy, do you recognize him? That that's the hat and the shirt that he always wears. No. So that it's would like be the most striped like a gond- the gondolier yeah. shirt or something. This was when he was in his prime mode. Yeah, that was like at his probably that's the peak, height of his peak Gallagher, peak Gallagher, as they call it. Uh, so anyway, so not Gallagher, funny, not no. as funny as uh, Richard's. No, Sorry. well, he, and he doesn't share your your you and Richard's views on blacks too. That's so. him that's smashing another, a melon right there. See, bring it, see, right. I can relate to that, but I never <laughs> I saw him before. Relate. He looks this like Rob Produce. He but looks like never... Rob Reiner. No, I love Produce. He uh, looks like Rob Reiner. Yeah, he right? loves Produce. Like Rob Reiner. <laughs> Howard loves produce, okay. but here's I do thing. love melons. The one thing that uh, yeah, who, who does Stacy Prosman. <laughs> but my whole thing is, I never really remember like what the comedy was about with the watermelons. Was he do? Was it? A, it was. I think it was a little political, just kind of overall, kind of satirical. 
be great if he's uh, like society. I'm gonna smash oh. this melon like we should smash Roe versus Wade. It's, it was, you know, oh, right. that kind of you stuff. You know, it yeah. was very topically work topical. Oh, so here's political. So I so, think so. Oh, so Gallagher. But the I thing about know. Gallagher is he shows up at our house, and I was making this big pot of tomato big sauce. Big pot of gravy. It big like. pot of yeah, Sunday gravy. You're from uh, he, North Jersey. And he comes over and he puts his face down into it and he looks into the gravy. And he just sneezes right Aww. into the tomato sauce. No. Yes. Like as a, a goof? Hold on. Hey, yeah, he was always hold on. funny. Hey, Jocelyn, can you please come here? And, and you don't have to be on camera. Can you please? My wife is here, everybody. Can you please agree? Remember when Gallagher sneezed in the tomato sauce? Was it a joke, <laughs> do you think? Yeah, he was no, always no. being funny. He, Gallagher, come on. That no, is fucking hysterical. He was a comedian. Yes. Gallagher was at our home. And then... A couple of years. Okay, it's disgusting. It's, it's funny. Ah, yes, but it's disgusting. And then we were I, okay. And then how we, have you never told this story before? And all I did was I skimmed the top of it and I just turned the heat up. Yeah. And then when it was time to have dinner, I just I sat out. I just said I'm yeah, gonna have some bread. Go, you know what? Yeah. You guys, and everyone was like, "This is delicious." I said, "That's because it has Gallagher's boogers in it." That is hysterical. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yuck! He sneezed in the fucking. Oh, I head. think. And I watched him do. And he also has like a big mustache. Yes. Yeah. It was a big mustachioed, sneezy, sne you know. What a weird thing to I do. I think he was. I'm going to offer the uh, McCarthy thesis on this one. Go just ahead. as he defended Go ahead. Richards yeah. in character. He uh -huh. was being in character. He's always being funny. You know, he had to be uh, funny. I, he was, I mean, that I could almost see. what see. I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'm drawing okay. an analogy. Now, he sold it. If I, let me just continue with my Gallagher because I've got like three there's separate more Gallagher stuff. And then there was Whoa. another time Oof. when we were at Gallagher's. Well, he, he, house but he wasn't there gallagher's okay. daughter lived in the house we were there for i think i don't even know why we were there joss i don't want poor joss and i want to bring her in again but we were at gallagher's house and then the third time this is the fucking this is the weirdest gallagher story so we had flown right around thanksgiving from new york to la and then from new york back to los angeles and we came in it was a late on a sunday night and we had parked in um i know this sounds boring but this is all kind no, of no not it. at all we had we had parked in that uh, the uh, short term parking, which is where you park like right on right in like the right in the covered parking, like right by the entrance mm -hmm. to the terminals and everything. Right. So we come out and Mia was a baby. She was like three or two even or something. Three, probably our other daughter, um, Bella, had just been born. Little, little, little baby. Oh, and yeah, she was like three months old or something. Yeah. And we had just gotten off the plane and it was a rough plane ride. The plane was crowded. Jocelyn was Mia's diaper had broken and or Ooh. Bella's diaper had broken. And Mia Jocelyn was covered in urine. Ooh, um, okay. Just like our honeymoon. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. so Jocelyn was covered in urine and we had gotten off the plane and we have like we have our rolling luggage car because we, we had been in we had been in New Jersey for like almost two weeks. So we had a lot of luggage. You know, if you have babies and baby seats and all that, we had a lot of stuff. We look like Bedouins. We had a lot of stuff with us. So we get off and we are we are parked. We and I don't remember where the car is. And Jocelyn was very patient with with me still is really and mm -hmm. we get off of the we're like we're we're in the 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 short-term parking and i don't remember where the car is i just don't remember where the car mm. is so i'm like shoot so i go listen you guys stay right here it's like midnight okay at the in the in the in the parking garage at the airport i said you stay right here I'm just going to go walk around and see if I can find the car. We don't all need to go push mm, like yeah, the right. Jews in the desert. You just stay over here. I'm yeah. going to go. So I go. And then as I'm going to walk away, there's somebody walking out of the terminal. Okay. And I look and I go, Gallagher. Get and he out goes, of here. Hey, and he looks at me. And he goes, guilty. And he goes, <laughs> and it, it'd be funny if he's just pushing a bunch of broken watermelons. Yeah. Like, that was his luggage. Came from a gig. Yeah. Came from a gig. Well, and I said to him, so and cute. I, and I, and he, it took him a second. And I go, Brian, you were at my house. We're friends with Amy, his daughter. Uh -huh. And he goes, Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said, Are you coming or going? Uh -huh. And he goes, I just dropped my girlfriend off. Um, mm. I'm going back. And, and he lived up where we were. And I go, he goes, what are you doing? And I said, we just got back from, you know, New Jersey. We're, you know, blah, 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 blah. And um, I said, I can't find my car. Mm -hmm. And he goes, come with me. I'll help you Did find you drive the car. You around? So we go in the oh, same this. Mazda 626. I get in the car. He, and the car, by the way, the car is full of like papers and like, 
It's like it looks like he's living in this thing. I mean, he wasn't, but can't say that I'm shocked. And he looks over, and the first thing we do is he's got an ashtray, and he pulls out of this ashtray like a two inch joint. Yeah. And he Uh-oh. fires it up and he smoked and he knew that I kind of worked in show business or whatever, you know. Sure. And he looks at me, he goes, I'm gonna be in Meet the Fockers. <laughs> oh my god. And I go, You're gonna be Meet the Fockers? He goes, Yeah, the second one. I'm, I just had an audition. By the way, if you're looking for Gallagher type, just hire a guy. How why are you auditioning to be Gallagher? You're sure. the Gallagher, or you're not. Gallagher should be offer only. Gallagher, if you want a Gallagher, we give you Gallagher. You messenger that yes, script. Yes. If I'm the director, I show up at his house. Right. There you go. I go, Mr. Gallagher. Yeah. Be you have smart. And I would make a watermelon pun. You have sown the seeds of comedy. Oh, there yeah. Uh-huh. Funny. Uh, anyway, so he goes, You want to hit this? I go, No, I'm okay. And uh, he goes, All right, we well, got to go find your car. And we draw, he drives me around Love it. Love it. and we found the car. Uh, nice we find story. the car. I gave him a hug. I said, it was so nice of you. And he, and he was already like, he was already on to somewhere else. He goes, yeah, yeah, no problem, man. I'll see you later. And then that was that. And he left. Mm. So what a cute Gallagher story. Well, yeah, yeah. He, he was kind of an old hippie, wasn't he? Yes. Kind of like a, but like kind of a, kind of an angry one. He didn't yeah, have, he was angry. Well, yeah. like, but it didn't you know, work out that well. He had a big, peace and love. he yeah. had a big run and then sure. he didn't. I mean, yeah, you he know. Was, I mean, he, he got, he got paid off of it until like he kept getting paid until off. Yes, it wasn't like it. People knew who he was. Towards the end of his life, I think he sort of, like a lot of uh, baby yeah. boomers, he sort of retreated into conservative politics. And well, that's what we'd be do. like. I'm going to smash these watermelons. Like I wish well, I could smash right. the heads of illegal immigrants. Yeah, you sure. have to do something. Mm-hmm. Churchill. Well, rest in peace. Rest in Gallagher. peace. We Let's, should switch. Okay, can I, can good. I We're going to give Churchill couple, just well, you, you can oh, no. in, and on the Patreon. You oh, can. but it won't. It can. won't. Yeah, we got it's okay. Churchill. All right, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Churchill. Stay tuned, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Brian, uh, p- Patreon.com slash Brian McCarthy. That's right. Uh, we're going to invoke. It's on the thing. Slash invoking Churchill. Uh, thank um, you. Thank you. Shout out to uh, our buddy Steve. What's up, Steve? Um, Steve hasn't been with us for a while. He said he, he was usually, I don't remember where it's, Steve's in Australia, I believe. I don't know. Who so knows? He said he's usually sleeping, but he said, boy, howdy, what, what, uh, the, the production quality. See, you're That's welcome. Really, we do this for and you. And there was a little confusion that he said, boy, you're back on Facebook. And I said, we're on both Steve. both Steve. And then Steve said, you know, I made the joke about, uh, him being Steve Lime. Uh, Go ahead. And, said, and he said that one time he was, where's the comment? He said he was, um, Go ahead. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Putting it on the screen. Uh, it sounds like a lie, but I once went sailing with a Stephen Orange. Wow. Uh, oh, no way. Just two fruits in a dinghy. Did you oh, find that's adorable? I bet he found his friendship appealing. Oh, yeah, he sure did. Yeah. He sure did. Aren't and you then, glad uh, I made that? And uh, Paul Didn't Dennon said now. hello. Hi, Paul. Um, oh, and then also Steve said, um, just like Gallagher's 2000. Yes. Uh, I see. No. You the, the first two rows get wet. Oh shit! This guy's fucking. He's coming right. out of the gate. He, I'm gonna I'm gonna say he, new head writer yeah. for the Brian McGrath I mean, the interview show. Well, Patreon yeah, bring forward slash on. Steve Steve Lemon. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll we're gonna cross over everybody. Make sure you uh, listen. By the way, rate, go to, comment, subscribe, yeah, and go to Brian P McCarthy and get yourself a T-shirt. Christmas is coming. They're get fun. Yourself a dag on T-shirt. Get yourself a darn T-shirt. Can I sell my uh? Yeah. Exterminate anti-Semitism t-shirt sure. on there. Yep. That's not where it's coming gotta, up, folks. But you gotta make it though. Yeah, you, they oh, they can't already, buy it. It's ready. It's, oh, it's ready? It's popping, as you say, on Monday. Where can they get it's it? Popping. Oh, is, on the internet. When is it on the internet? Okay. Yeah, the Brian McCarthy to, podcast. All right, everybody. Com. Go yep. to internet.com. And yeah. Slash just put how, in, Howie shirts. Howie shirts. But it's but by the way, it's gonna be on the internet. Just so, no. Of course. Oh. Everything's on the internet. Just so you know though, everyone. We're on the internet. It's it's no graphic, it just says exterminate anti no so graphic, no graphic. Sounds hilarious. Thank so you. that's okay. So, All guys, right, we'll everybody. be right back. And if you're not on the Patreon, this is where it's going to get, get on real the Patreon. fun. Get fun and get fucking gay Patreon. as shit. All right. All right. Do you have a bathroom? No. Can okay. I just grab?